Years ago, when I was a PhD student at the University of Rochester, I had a friend who uh, bought a farmhouse out in the country. And it was, uh, it was over 100 years old. It had electrical problems and all sorts of issues, but he was pretty excited. He had to redo all of the electrical wiring. He had to rebuild things. But the thing I, I remember most is the barn in the back was collapsing in a corner. And when I was over visiting with him and asking him, you know, how are things going and what you up to, he, he said, come here, let me show you. He takes me out back and he shows me this barn. And he says, yeah, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to get some jacks. I'm going to pump the whole thing up. I'm going to rebuild the foundation that used to hold it up and I'm going to have this barn again. And at the time, I remember being just overwhelmed by that. I thought, how would you even know how to start how to fix a barn that's collapsing? I've since learned uh, that you, you've heard the old adage that the way to eat an elephant is uh, one bite at a time. Uh, that's what you got to do with these big projects. You got to break them down into their pieces. The work breakdown structure is a tool that visually organizes all of the project's activities into manageable pieces. Think of the work breakdown structure as a big picture outline of the project. Start by listing the project outcome at the top. Then identify the high level deliverables that need to be completed to achieve that outcome. Divide these high level deliverables into more specific activities. Continue dividing even further until you've listed every activity in the project. When you're done, you've got this massive amount of uh, small little uh, baby elephant bites. Once you've got that, then you can start arranging it. You can say, okay, what things have to be preceded by what other things? What things can be done separately or simultaneously? And you can start making scheduling decisions based on that work breakdown structure, each of those individual activities. Further, you can start making assignments. You can give responsibility to different people on your project team to manage uh, those individual pieces of the work breakdown structure or even way down at the activity level. And in a sense, when you make that assignment, you've, you've made a new project manager for a, for a small piece. So that's how, you, that's how you eat an elephant. 